With all of the major components already made, it's time for us to shift our attention to a new section of our plant. Welcome to our small parts department, one of our major sub-assemblies. So let's take a look behind the glass at how we make live wells, coolers, storage boxes, and much more. In our previous episode, you saw coolers, live wells, and boxes installed onto our decks. In this episode, we're gonna focus on how we build each of these parts. It all begins with the first layer of gel coat, which in most cases is white. For live wells, we give them a light blue color to differentiate them. Many avid fishermen believe the blue color helps keep bait calm. Once the gel coat has cured, Fiberglass and resin are simultaneously sprayed to form the first layer of fiberglass, also known as the skin coat layer. Before the resin dries, it's important to make sure there are no air bubbles trapped in the resin. This is done using special rollers and ensures that the fiberglass has adhered to all of the areas and it helps reduce any excess resin. Depending on the intended use, each small part will receive the adequate composite materials needed for strength and insulation. Each piece of composite material is pre-cut using our state-of-the-art in-house CNC machines. This maximizes our production time and ensures precise specifications. When placing composite materials, team members will collect the exact cuts of materials for the parts they are building. These pre-cut pieces perfectly align to their specific small part. Composite materials are first pre-soaked in resin and a wet bed of fiberglass is sprayed prior to applying each piece. Once the pieces are laid out, additional fiberglass is applied to the top to encapsulate the composite materials. Lastly, each part will be covered with a combination of dry precision cut fiberglass pieces and chopped fiberglass to form the final layer. Once the part has cured, each piece is demolded. The small parts then make their way into our cut and grind booth for final cutting and trimming. This leaves the parts smooth and ready for the next step. Once each part has left the cut and grind booth, they will be installed onto the proper deck as you saw in our previous episode. Each part is bonded to the deck using methamethacrylate, an aerospace bonding agent which unitizes both parts. With all of the boxes installed, the deck is now ready for final trimming. Before wrapping things up, it is worth mentioning that these are just some of the small parts that we build in our small parts department. There are many other items such as drainage boxes, gunnel caps, and even the access pucks that you saw in our last episode. These small parts help make up the intricate details that we design into our boats. Maximizing every inch of space by bringing you larger storage boxes, live walls, coolers, and more. Let's take a quick pause here and talk about one of the other parts that we didn't get to see during this episode. 
and it's this part right here. And even if you've seen all of our videos, you probably don't recognize it. This part gets bonded to the underside of the deck and it's part of our self bailing cockpit system. The way that it works is any water that gets on the deck goes onto this box and then it gets piped overboard without going into the bilge. Now using a collector box allows us to tie in different things, not just the deck. Eventually, the part may look something like this once we've tapped into it. One advantage that we have by using a collector box system is that we only need one through haul per box. So we don't need a bunch of through hauls on the back side of the boat. The second advantage is that it's at a different level than the deck. So any debris on the cockpit simply goes into the box and it keeps your deck completely clean. Over the top, all you see is a beautiful stainless steel drain cover. Thank you for spending time with us taking a look at how we build our small parts. This is part of our Sport Tech advanced fabrication process. This proprietary combination of processes and materials yields the best results each step of the way and has been thoroughly tested for durability, longevity, and finish. All Sportsman boats feature 100% composite construction with zero wood. Join us in our next episode for another installment of Sportsman's Behind the Glass, where we see all of the structural components come together to form a boat. From Somerville, South Carolina, my name is Victor, and thank you for watching.